Hello, hello, hello. Chapter One, The Wicked. Okay, we know this house. We've been here. It's a little teddy bear. I think someone's upstairs. Someone's definitely upstairs. Let's go check it out. Um, hello? He has an axe now. Help. Um, she shouldn't have done that in your bed. She deserves to be punished. Done what in my bed? Dear Ben, you've been living in the basement for months and haven't come out. You're going crazy and dragging us along. The kids and I don't understand what's going on with you. You've become aggressive, and you're taking out all your anger on us. Alice is sick. It's hard for her to live in such an environment, and Jacob is still too young. And I don't want him to get hurt. Know that we have the right to live without you. I tried to discuss everything with you in a normal setting but you don't make contact. I just want you to know that we have someone who will care for us. All you have to do is let us go. Just let us go. Um, what? No one's going anywhere. Um, ooh. Hello? What is your purpose, sir? I guess he's helping me. Um, oh. I have an axe. I'm pretty sure I know how to use it. Nice little cozy fireplace situation. Um, oh. God. Got it? Do it. Do what? What's in there? This is like a kid's room. Um, hello? That's a bathroom in there. Okay, so the parents' bedroom is like right here. Why? Yikes. Excuse me. Um, excuse me. Hmm. 
My name is Sean Miller. I am conducting a journalistic investigation of a brutal murder on the outskirts of the city that occurred on April 24th. I want to find out the true cause of this crime and find answers to all questions. Chapter 3 Observer. She was cheating on us? In our own bed? Oh, he'll know. She got the X, that's for sure. Hello? Lambert. On April 24th, a brutal murder took place in a house on the outskirts of the city. A man killed his entire family with an axe. The accused himself called the police and was arrested on the spot. The man testifies and says that he was influenced by a certain man in a hat and that he forced him to commit this crime. The man in the hat? We know that guy. The police have no further comment. We will monitor developments in this case. Yeah, we've seen the man in the hat. He's a guy that keeps popping up. Pieces of me. Movie time. Chapter four. Pieces of me. Oh. Door sealed. What the heck? Got another teddy bear situation. Teddy. Oh no. N need to look for a knife. <gasps> we got a different situation. Baby. Baby. Um, baby. Didn't we see a knife over here? Oh no, that's a hammer. Oh. Got me. Excuse me, what? Slicing through the rope. No biggie. We got this. I guess. Um, someone's unhappy. Up the stairs we go. Baby? Hey, what you eating, baby? Baby's gone. Okay. The heck? What the heck was that? Ooh, crowbar. Um, hello? Can we use the crowbar? No. Oh, downstairs, downstairs. Right here, the door is like boarded up. This one. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Uh, hello? Where'd you go? A safe?
Uh, ma'am? Um, hello? Oh, she left his key. How kind of her. Where? To the store. Everyone's so nice. everything okay? Our wall closed in. Um, can I help you? Who's humming? Bro? The telephone. Our oh, wall is back to normal. You can answer the phone. Um, hello? <laughs> hello? How can I help? Oh. Who's that? Something from the basement? To the basement. I am watching you. Okay. Hello? She looks kind of cool. She's watching us, guys. We found the stuff in the basement. What's that sound? Is that laundry going? Uh, excuse me? Tie the ropes to the doors? <sighs> okay. Now this one. Door secure. Close and board the coffin. Oh, that's her. Uh... Exactly ready for a coffin. Need to find a cross and put it on the coffin. I don't think she's ready for this. Where do we find a cross? In the safe. A bookshelf. The red book. Bookshelf with a rip. With a clock. It's not down in, in the basement. Oh. Red book. <gasps> Fuck. It open. Okay, we got our cross. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Alice, mom, he, Jacob, he, maybe? I gotta go put this cross on the thing. Hold on. I'll be back. Um. <laughs> Uh. 
Chapter 5, The Touch of Evil. I think someone's trying to come in. Someone's definitely need to lock the chair. Need to lock the door with the chair. Oh. Need to lock the chair with the door, quick. <laughs> Got it. Baby, how'd you get in here? Meditate. Proof of death. Okay. Chapter six. Oh, got some footprints. Got some chains. That's what you get for cheating on me in my own bed. What's back here? A saw. Then cut through the chains, get out of this room. Baby? Baby? I need a key. Okay. We need a key. Board it up again. The heck? Oh no. We need a code. Oh no. And a safe? need to find the password. Need to find that password too. 3C? Okay, 3C. Three B. What the fuck is happening? What's that guy pointing at? Four A. Okay, let me write this down. Four A was three B and three C. 4A, 3B, 3C, thank you so much. Whoever you are. I can't open the store without a bolt cutter. 5D. 4335. A, B, C, D, four, three, three, five. Four, three, three, five. What is that? Dear Ben, I can't live like this anymore. I want to get a divorce and sell the house. My torment has become unbearable, and I need freedom. Please give me the opportunity to start a new chapter in my life. Sincerely, Evelyn. It looks like you already been starting that new chapter in my bed. Bro? Uh, thank you.
Cutters, but we have a key so we can use it on this. Yes. In we go. Um, hello? Party Island, let's let's go. Oh, cutters. A leaf from the diary. Dear diary, mom and dad were fighting again today. If I wasn't a burden, I could help them a little with Jacob. He requires a lot of attention, and I give them so much trouble. It hurts me so much to look at them and see how they suffer because of me and Jacob. If I hadn't been there, my parents would have been much happier. They wouldn't have had to worry about my health. I feel useless and unnecessary, and I would like to be the best daughter for them. Alice. Oy. Um, Alice? Alice? Uh, uh, the, the rats are hungry. Alice, the rats. The rats. There's something behind the door. Need to find something to open it with. Well, we saw that crowbar. We saw the crowbar. Oh! Uh, in that, in this other room? That I think we can now access, right? This one? Yeah. Oh, that's laundry detergent. <laughs> All right. Let's go open that door. <gasps> Fuck. <gasps> I knew it. That knock was too real hmm. oh you're helping me out now too okay thanks <laughs> excuse me who exactly are you, are you laughing at what's happening Chapter 7, there is no way out. 
Um, what? Oh. It's your turn to make a movie. Baby? What are you pointing at? Crowbar. And he's gone. Um. <laughs> A noose? Do it. You can't tell me what to do. Deal, bro. Finish my movie. <laughs> I have completed this investigation, but unfortunately, I will not be able to publish it. This house is a source of madness, it has consumed me. I wanted to find the truth, but instead, I found death. It's all about the man in the hat. He oppresses his victims and makes them do terrible things. Ben recorded everything on tapes. I saw that man forcing Ben to kill his wife for cheating, but it wasn't enough for him. He continued to stalk him until Ben killed his entire family. Now I'm his next victim. I can't stand up to him. Sean Miller. Sure you can, Sean. Nobody. Developer. Nobody. Sound designer, nobody. <laughs> April twenty fourth. 